Giving a test to a group of students that grades and genders are summarized below. If one student was chosen at random, find the probability that a student got an A. So we want to find the probability that a random student received an A. Looking at the table, notice how this column on here tells us the number of an A students. There were a total of 30. A students, 13 of which were a male, and 17 which were a female. Now looking at the total column in here, we noticed that the total column in 31 males took the test and 37 females took the test. Therefore, there were a total of 68 test tokers. And therefore, the probability that a student chosen at random would have gotten an A would be the number of the students receiving an A, which is 30, divided by the number of students that took the test, which is 68. So. equals 30 divided by 68. We do want to make sure that the fraction is in simple form. Notice that 30 and 68 do share a common factor of 2. So we are going to divide by 2 and here divided by 2. So p equals 30 divided by 2 and 68 divided by 2 and the answer is here 15 34 this is a fraction as in symbol form let's also give the probability as a decimal and even though it doesn't ask as a percentage so to convert the fraction to a decimal we will divide so 15 divided by 34 Let's round this to four decimals places. Approximately 0 0.4412. So the decimals values of uh, is going to be an approximation 0 0.4412. So let's also write this as a percentage to convert a decimal to a percentage or multiplying by 100. So this would be a P by 2, 68 divided by 2, and 15 over 34, approximately 0 0.4412 equals 44.12 percentage. The question says, a number is selected at random from the set below. What is the probability that the number is odd? Now, the numbers we have are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and negative 3. Since the question asks, what is the probability of the number being odd? So, let's exclude all the even numbers. In our case, the even numbers are negative 2, 0, and 2. We are now left with negative 3, negative 1, 1, and negative 3, which are all odd numbers. So in total, we have 3 even numbers and 4 odd numbers, which equals to 7 numbers in total. And since we have 4 odd numbers, the probability of us choosing a random number and it being odd is 4 over 7. A recent survey of 150 owners of cars in Dubai revealed the following data. First, we're going to fill in this data. Now, the total number the total number of BMW is 45. So, you're going to think of a number that you add with 20 gives you 45, which is 25. Next, the total number is 150, so we're going to write it here. 
and now you will you will think of a number that you add these two with and gives you 150 which is 80 and you will think of a number you add with 40 which gives you 80 which is 40 and the same here you're going to think of a number that you add with 80 which gives you 150 70 now that you filled in the table we're going to solve from these results the probability that a person chosen at a random from Dubai would own a Mercedes is 4 over 15 1 over 2 8 over 15 or 3 over 10 we have a rule of probability which is probability of an event happening is equal to number of ways it can happen over total number of outcomes now the probability that a person chosen at random from the boy would on a Mercedes is equal to now the total the total number of outcomes we have here is 150 so we you will write 150 here and the total number of Mercedes is, so you're going to write 80 here now why did we write the number of a the total number of Mercedes here because they're asking about the Mercedes now we're going to divide this which is equal to 8 over 15 the answer will be C thank you What is the probability of rolling a 6 at least once in two rolls of a standard 6-sided dice? Each roll has 6 possible outcomes, so the possible outcomes in two rolls is 6 by 6, which is 36. The rule of probability is probability of an event happening equals to number of ways it can happen over total number of outcomes. Let's count the number of outcomes with at least a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The probability of rolling a 6 at least is 11 over 36. The question says, the tree diagram shows the composition of a box of used color markers in a classroom. There are two red markers, four green markers, and six blue markers. Let's write them down. So, two red markers, four green markers, and six blue markers. One half of the red markers have dried out. So, half of the two red markers are dried. So, one of the Red markers are dried and the other one of the red marker is not dried. 25% of the green markers are dry. 
So 25% of the four green markers are dry, which is only one dried green marker. And the other three green markers are not dried. And 50% of the blue markers are dry. Half of the six blue markers are dried. So three of the blue markers are dried and the other three of the blue markers are not dried. What is the approximate probability that a marker randomly selected from the box will be dried out? A 0.063, B 0.417, C 0.333, D 0.538. So they're asking us the probability of a marker randomly selected from the box will be dried out. So let's write it here, a marker randomly selected from the box will be dried out. So now, in order to find the probability, we're going to do as a fraction. The bottom of the fraction will be the total number of the markers. So there are two red markers, four green markers, and six blue markers. In total, there are 12 markers. And, uh, and they are asking us for the markers that are dried out. So there are one, so there are one, dried red marker, one dried green marker, and three dried blue markers. In total, there are five markers that are dried out. So this is the answer as a fraction. However, we want it as a decimal. So as a decimal, it will be 0 0.417. So the answer is B. The answer is P. Hope you understand. Thank you. What is the probability of rolling a four at least once in two rolls of a, st a standard six-sided dice? Each roll has six possible outcomes. So the possible outcomes in two rolls is six by six equals 36. Probability of an event happen equals number of ways it happened over total number of outcomes. Let's count the number of outcomes with at least a four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The probability of rolling as a four at least is eleven over thirty six. Alma and Blanca are playing a game where they roll a pair of fair six-sided dice and try to predict the outcomes. Blanca thinks that the probability of rolling a 1 and a 5 is greater than the prob probability of rolling a 1 or a 5. Blanca thinks rolling a 1 and a 5 is greater. Alma disagrees. She, th she thinks that the probability of rolling a 1 or a 5 is greater. Alma disagrees. She thinks that the probability of rolling a 1 or a 5 is greater. Based on the sample space, the possible outcomes listed below. Who is correct? Alma or Blanca? Here we have 6 by 6 rolling dices, which makes 36 rolling dices. Let's start with Blanca. The probability of Blanca is rolling 1 and 5 equals, as you can see here, 1 and 5. There is 1 and 5 and there is 2, 1 and 5. So it's 2 out of 36. Alma disagrees. She thinks that the probability of rolling a 1 or 5 is greater. The probability of 
rolling one or five equals you should count any pair that you can see one or you can see five as shown in the outcomes listed As you can see here, we have 20 out of 36. Alma is correct. Option B is the correct answer because Alma thinks that the probability of rolling a 1 or 5 is greater. The circumference of a circuit is 36 pi. Contained in that circuit is a smaller circuit with area 16 pi. A point is selected at random from inside the larger circuit. What is the probability that the point lies in the smaller circuit? So, we have a circle. The circumference of that circle is 36 pi. Then lies a smaller circle. And the area of that smaller circle is 16 pi. We need to find the probability that the point also lies in the smaller circle. So first we need to find the area of the larger circle. So C equals 2 pi R, which is 36 pi equals 2 pi R divided by 2 pi divide by 2 pi, cancel, and the radius is 18. Then we're going to find the area. So A equals pi times radius to the power of 2, which is pi times 18 to the power of 2, 18 times 18. The area of the larger, of the entire larger circle is 324 pi. So, we found the area of the larger circle. Okay, so the probability is 16 pi over 324 pi. Cancel, cancel. It's 4 over 81.